Good day, everyone. This is MemphisWeather.net meteorologist Eric Proceus uh, bringing you another video update on yet another winter storm that is brewing and heading this way as we head into early February. This one on Thursday, February 3rd. I'm recording this about 7 o'clock on Tuesday, February 1st, and we'll get right into it then as we start to uh, look ahead to Another round of winter weather. We had a couple of them in January, and uh, this is yet another one. As we look at the current watch and warning map uh, as of about 6 p.m. this evening, and winter storm warnings are in effect for all of northeast Arkansas. Um, the western tier of counties in West Tennessee, those bordering the Mississippi River, uh, and that includes Memphis and Shelby County. And then there are Winter storm watches in effect um, for a tier or so of counties just to the east of the warning. Um, those are watches uh, because the timing of the potential for significant weather is uh, a little bit further into the future than the warned areas. Um, and so that's mainly the difference right now. But uh, all of those counties that are colored there have the potential for some uh, some amount of significant potentially uh, winter weather. Let's talk about the uh, overview then for this next event. We are going to see rain off and on for the next uh, 24 hours or so as we go tonight. Uh, probably one round of rainfall moving through tonight. Uh, off and on showers during the day tomorrow and then uh, again on Wednesday night, continuing into Wednesday night, and that rain will start to pick up as we head towards the early morning hours Thursday. And that is when temperatures will start to drop. So we'll actually see a cold front, an Arctic front move through the Mid-South uh, and the Memphis area tomorrow late afternoon. That's Wednesday late afternoon and evening. The temperatures will start to drop from the 50s down into the 30s overnight. And as we get deeper into that cold air, that's when the problems occur. And we'll start to see those temperatures drop towards the 32 degree mark as we head towards uh, dawn and then uh, particularly during the day on Thursday. Uh, it does look like they'll hold pretty close to the 32 mark uh, within a degree or two a good part of the day on Thursday. That will play into the forecast. Uh, that rain could be heavy on Thursday morning as those temperatures are falling as well. And we do expect that we'll see freezing rain uh, as those temperatures hit 32 and just below with a um, an axis of freezing rain that could be somewhat heavy um, with right basically along the Mississippi River or just east or west of it. So that is uh, that is the greatest area of concern. We'll talk about that again a little bit here more graphically, um, but we're, we're uh, most concerned about an area that is fairly close to the river either side of that, and the models are still jockeying for position a little bit on exactly where that is. Now that precip will start to taper off by early evening um, on Thursday, and we'll see just a light wintry mix by the evening hours into uh, the early overnight hours Thursday. Could be some freezing drizzle or snow flurries. There could be a little bit of sleet mixed in with that as well. Um, but overall, most of that should be pretty light, but temperatures by that time will be dropping down into the upper 20s. We will see those temperatures remain below freezing with the exception of a brief period Friday afternoon when we look at a high of 34 on uh, Friday afternoon, but otherwise they are going to remain below freezing until we get to uh, Saturday for a, a prolonged a uh, little bit warmer stretch. Um, that will mean whatever falls is likely to stick around for a little bit. And also because of the wind that is going to be blowing throughout this event and into Thursday night and Friday morning, those wind chills will be down in the teens from Thursday evening through Friday morning. It'll be quite cold as the system wraps up. Now, the threats that we're concerned about um, is going to be the freezing rain and also combine that with some gusty winds. So we're looking at winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour or so from Wednesday night through the day on Thursday. Uh, we'll see steady winds of at least 10 to 15 miles an hour, and that could result in some power line or tree damage, and that means we could see some power outages because of the freezing rain. So not only the weight of the, of the ice on the tree branches that may be overhanging power lines or on the power lines themselves, but when the wind starts blowing with that as well, um, then we could uh, re that could lead to uh, some more power outages than you might have if it were just calm wind. Um, we will also be watching the roadways very carefully, especially as we head through uh, later in the day on Thursday um, and into Friday morning, uh, hazardous. Uh, perhaps at best, and uh, we could see some dangerous road conditions, especially on those elevated roadways, the bridges, the overpasses, uh, the flyovers, 
the uh, Highway 385s and so forth. So uh, we want to make sure that we're uh, aware of that as you plan for your travel. All of this will be refined a little bit more as we get closer, but there's a, a couple of things that could uh, result in maybe a little bit better uh, conditions or perhaps worse conditions on the roads. We'll talk about that too. So those very cold conditions will last through Saturday, and that will especially affect uh, those of you who could lose power um, because uh, there will not be warmth directly behind this to uh, help with a uh, little mother nature's heating there. So I want to keep that in mind as well. That's, that's the potential risk. So let's start with a, uh, the NAM3 model, which is one of our models that uh, gives us hourly data out to the uh, 60 hours. And as you can see from this animation, which started at 6 p.m. Wednesday and goes through 6 p.m. Thursday, uh, and I will let it loop through a couple of times, but the colors that we're concerned about are the purples and the kind of pink or orangish colors in there. And you can see it's starting at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. It's mostly rain, but it doesn't take long for that purple area to get right up to the Mississippi River through the overnight hours on Wednesday. So areas to our west are going to have to be uh, very watchful for the potential for uh, more icing because it will start earlier. And you notice that that line of uh, rain to freezing rain, which is the purple, sticks right there about at the Mississippi River uh, give or take a little bit east or west, depending on the model you look at, but it stays there for quite an extended period of time. So areas in the, the eastern side of the city into North Mississippi, West Tennessee, more likely to see plenty of rain, while areas right along the river and just west have the best potential, we think, for what could be a significant period of freezing rain falling. Um, I'll let this go through one more time and you'll be able to see uh, as this loops through how that kind of sticks to the river there for a little bit. This is uh, midnight right there and then you'll see the rain start to pick up here. This is about 6 a.m. and it starts to move into the northern part of the metro but you see the most most of the city doesn't start to see that freezing rain until the afternoon on Thursday. Uh, again, this all could and probably will change a little bit before we get to that time period. But the reason that uh, that freezing line is not making more progress to the east is because that front kind of stalls out and we have a weak low pressure system that moves along the front from southwest to northeast on the east side of the city. And effectively that just stalls the front out until that low moves by to the northeast and finally starts to pull that cold air back in around the back side of it. So uh, very tricky forecast and one or two degrees will make all of the difference in the world. Some of you, especially uh, more likely on the eastern side of the city and into um, rural areas of uh, West Tennessee, south of I-40 or North Mississippi could see temperatures of 33 or 34 for a prolonged period on Thursday. Uh, those of you maybe West Memphis over into the Wynn, Marion and for points further west, we'll see that freezing rain much earlier, probably Wednesday night and continue through the day on Thursday, which means you have a better chance of seeing uh, more significant accumulation. So this is that same model's output for um, amounts of rainfall in the upper left, freezing rain in the upper right, a snow in the lower left, and we are really not concerned about snow at all with this particular event uh, because all of the cold air is right at the surface. There's actually a pretty warm layer, uh, maybe just a thousand feet or so up above, and so that's going to preclude snow. And then sleet or ice pellets in the lower right. So the colder conditions uh, off to our west will see more sleet and snow, while the areas where it's just the shallow free of uh, frozen layer right near the surface are more likely to see this freezing rain. Um, I don't want to get too hung up exactly on the uh, totals in this upper right panel for freezing rain, but I want you to notice that axis basically right along the Mississippi River and then crossing into Northwest Tennessee. Somewhere right in that area is the most likely place that to see what could be some pretty uh, good totals of uh, ice on the ground and on surfaces, uh, exposed objects and so forth as we head into th particularly Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. So here's the ice accumulation forecast from the NWS. Uh, this says snowfall, it should be ice the top. Uh, but you see where that kind of axis is along the river and into northwest Tennessee. The dark reds in there are up to a half an inch or perhaps more of uh, ice accumulation on the flat exposed uh, surfaces. 
So if you've got a, uh, a table on your back patio or the top of the car, um, those kind of things, this is where you can find, you'll find the, the highest ice accumulations, um, not necessarily um, on the grass or on the roadways. Uh, and that tapers off pretty quickly as you go southeast. In fact, um, you know, areas just southeast of Memphis, maybe only a tenth or so of an inch uh, of ice, which is still enough to cause problems on elevated roadways and so forth. But um, the higher chance of power outages, trees, branches, and so forth down is going to be in the area that is the darker red Reds here, and again, this might move a little bit before the precipitation actually starts. Um, but you'll want to uh, you'll want to be aware of that, especially uh, if you're basically along and north of I-40 or west of the river. So uh, wrap up here with a few other points. Then, just to summarize, we've got rain that is going to change to freezing rain during the day Thursday. Um, that heaviest freezing rain that I've talked about is going to be probably fairly close to centered on the Mississippi River. Uh, that precip tapers off by early evening into a light freezing uh, wintry mix, lasts through about midnight. Uh, we recommend that if you can garage your vehicles before this event starts and keep them there, that would be best. Um, otherwise, you will likely be trying to figure out how to get a uh, maybe a pretty decent layer of ice off of your vehicle even to unlock the doors. Um, and you want to, uh, right now, we think that it's probably going to be best to plan to avoid travel on Thursday, especially as we head into the afternoon and evening hours when it uh, looks like most of the metro will be seeing freezing rain uh, falling in the area. Um, also prepare for potential power outages. Uh, you want to, of course, keep your devices charged um, and make sure that you've got uh, uh, your um, conditions uh, or your uh, batteries ready and so forth to, uh, to be prepared for those power outages, um, have your uh, food storage and stuff for a short period of time there. Um, also make sure that your pets and your people are all taken care of. Uh, you don't want uh, the outdoor pet to have a frozen water bowl. You want to make sure that you're checking on neighbors and others who, um, especially if there's power outages, might uh, need a little assistance. It looks like the widespread melting will begin on Friday um, and will especially continue as we head into the weekend. Temperatures should warm up into uh, maybe near 40 on Saturday, uh, mid 40s by Sunday, we will see a lot of sunshine, uh, especially starting Friday afternoon. So that will help considerably as well. Uh, but that's kind of an overview of what to expect uh, as this storm rolls through. We'll have more throughout the next couple of days. We'll bring you uh, regular updates to make sure that you are updated with anything that changes relative to this forecast. That's the main thing we want to stress right now is this is still uh, 36 to 48 hours out. Uh, models do change and they have been changing up to this point. Hopefully they're starting to lock in a little bit, um, but this is not a pretty uh, snow event where you can go out and play in it. This is going to be um, uh, a little bit more hazardous and certainly something that if you can avoid, it would be best to do so. So stick with us. We'll be uh, updating you on social media, Memphis Weather Number 1, Memphis Weather 1 on Twitter and Facebook, um, and we'll also keep the forecast updated. Use your mobile app, the MWN app, to uh, get your latest information as well. And we hope everyone stays safe and warm as we head through this. Thank you very much.